Hi Virgos, welcome to my channel and welcome cross watchers for Virgos, sun, moon, rising. Alright, so here we go with the second half of October 2019. Just before we get started, I do want to announce that there is a Mercury retrograde happening on the uh, the 31st of October and then we have a new moon happening on the 27th, alright? So let's go ahead and get started here, love bugs. So the first card you got, Virgo, is the lovers. You may have Gemini or be dealing with a Gemini. We have the Hierophant. You'll be dealing with a Taurus or have Taurus in your chart. We have the Two of Swords. All right. We have the Star card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or have an Aquarius in your chart. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And we end with justice. All right, justice, and that's Libra, sun, moon, rising. All right, so bottom of the deck, we have your card, Virgo, the knight of pentacles. All right, so bottom of the deck being the knight of pentacles, things moving slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. All right, building that foundation, building your own security, knowing that sense of self being grounded in that all right you know things have that moment of stop and go it's like kinetic energy kinesis and there's that um i forget where what that one science terminology is like where it's like stop it's like when you open the door you have that moment where it's open and you're like doing nothing and then you know just like you walk through the door that kind of energy okay so Let's see what's going on here. Lots of uh, air, air signs right here. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right. Very awesome. All right. So the lovers, the Hierophant, Two of Swords. So this could be in regards to love, needing to make a decision. All right. This decision could be, what is it that you want to be committed to? All right. This could be person, place, thing, idea, whatever this may be for you. Mm. You're needing to make that decision in regards to it. All right, decisions, decisions, all right? <clears throat> Looking at all aspects, not just one, but all aspects, you know, because that's that groundedness. Looking at all aspects, all right? Where is, where is it in your life that you want to be? Where are you at now, all right? Why do I say that? Because the first card we have is the Gemini card, the lovers, all right? What is it that you love? Where is it that you want to be? That, that structure, that stability. Where is it that you, what is it that you want to commit to? You know, who is it that you want to commit to as well? Because others of you, this like, it's like at a crossroads. You're at a crossroads where, where you want to be. Like, it's like where I should be versus where I really want to be. Okay. And you're getting signs, synchronicities. All right. A lot of things are unfolding and you're actually witnessing it. This is like. You know, you see it. You see it for what it really is. You're noticing how things are unfolding. All right. Um, this is also about healing. So there could be heal like healing happening in love. In your romance department, there's a lot of healing going on. Because there could have been some things that you had dealt with in the past. Or this could be cross-watcher. Both of you could be doing this. Healing things that happened back in the past. So that way you can move forward. All right. There could be communication happening. Uh, communication about hope, communication about dreams and aspirations. All right. Why do I say that? Gemini's third house. Third house is communication. All right. So we have the um, Hierophant and the Eight of Pentacles. So what it is that you want as far as your structure and stability, you know you have to put focus in. This is your mundane. This is the structures that you are willing to work for. And this is like unyielding uncompromising for you in a sense like you know virgo that what it is that you want you have to put that dedication that energy that effort that focus into it okay um from what i'm seeing too um you could be working for an organization or company and it's something that you know people need it, it's something structured it could be some type of agency organization could be the military something like that okay um, this job, it, this this company that you may be working for or about to work for, this is something that's been here for a long time, all right? They've been well established. This is what that card represents. As far as um, a relationship, working on establishing something, 
okay? And then we have a Two of Swords and the Justice card. So there, like I said, a decision needs to be made. What is going to be that karmic balance? What's going to balance things out, all right? This is about Libra. This is about things working out for both parties, in a sense. Everything coming to a completion that is just, that works for everybody, not just you. But if you are looking in a situation where you... Um, what I'm seeing here is whatever that you're working on, Virgo, it's going to be right. It's going to be just. Um, and what you, you've you been working for, karma is here to give this to you. It's like in a past lifetime, uh, you've done some type of generosity work. You, you've you um, helped a lot of people or it's something. It's like dharma. What goes around comes around, right? That's what I'm sensing here. Now, for others of you, this could be in regards to making a decision about divorce. Rather to work it out with this person or rather to cut them free. Okay, that's the decision. Again, this could be you or this could be cross-watcher. Okay, um, let me see. Anything in regards to health? What I'm seeing in regards to health... Um, lots of healing going on. Um, what I'm seeing is that you're also working on your dreams and aspirations. Again, focusing on your dreams and aspirations because you want it to be something that's going to build that solid structure, that solid foundation. Like if you're wanting to build a house, you know that you got to what? Work for it, right? You got to work for it. And it's going to be your dream house or this is going to be your dream job or this is going to be your dream relationship. All right, but again, like I said, there is a decision that needs to be made, and I do feel like somebody is cut off. I feel like somebody has just been very guarded. <clears throat> this could be past energy, or this could be what's to come. Somebody is very guarded. They don't want to make a decision quite yet because what? It's not that time to make that decision. Like, again, karma is going to show itself up. This is about, like, uh, divine timing, waiting for things to balance out, waiting for that right moment. Um, but also being very compassionate as well, right? Libra is a, like the most compassionate out of the air signs is what I was told. I feel like everybody has a form of compassion and they just show that compassion very differently. All right. So what I'm seeing here also is, um, somebody could be working on their dream wedding because this could be, in regards to legal, you know, documentations, legalizing something, right? Um, getting some legal action here. Um, looking at, you know, could be a legal action in regards to a job situation. Could be legal action in regards to a romance situation, whatever it is. Um, definitely signing documents. So somebody could be getting married. Somebody could be getting, for others, you could be getting divorced. Um, others, you guys need to sign legal documents for work, or there's a lawsuit in regards to work, and there needs to be communication, honestly, there needs to be a lot of communication, alright, so again, bottom of the deck, Knight of Pentacles, things slowly moving, you're going to see them, signs and synchronicities, you're going to see the patterns and you're gonna see like everybody else around you they're getting their blessings you're gonna see that wishes are coming true wishes are coming true and you it's like you gotta keep keep on keeping on because you know your wish is about to come true all right so that's what i have for you for the second half of october 2019 and i will see you guys next month namaste